Rumble.com has just become more popular than ever thanks to this guy right here. And I'm gonna show you how you can take advantage of all of this new traffic in 2022. So let's get started. And by the way, guys, I'm not gonna ask you to shoot any videos or show up in front of the camera yourself. We're not gonna record any content and instead we're going to create videos automatically. And by the way, I was not just throwing words around. We can even confirm that on Google Trends. Rumble is actually more popular than ever. But what's really interesting about this platform is the way they monetize their content creators. I want you to take a look at this. Here's a simple explanation of the difference between the licensing options. But I'm not gonna get in depth about it because I don't wanna bore you guys. I'm gonna keep things very simple and I want this video to be an actual practical guide, right? So what you have to know is that apart from their main platform, apart from rumble.com, these guys have actually got their own YouTube channel, believe it or not. That is called Rumble Viral and it's got almost 2 million subscribers now. They've posted over 23,000 different videos and these are not necessarily videos shot by Rumble employees. Not at all, actually. Instead, they are videos posted by their members. However, if we take a look at the kind of videos they are reposting on their YouTube, we can see a pattern. Most of the times we're talking about kids or pets because these videos are getting the most engagement. Again, what's really interesting about Rumble is the fact that they are sharing most of their ad revenue with their members. For instance, if you post one such video on their platform and they decide to repost it on their YouTube, they will literally give you 90% of the ad revenue, so they only keep a very small fee. It is literally as if a viral channel with 2 million subscribers reposted you. That's actually what's happening here. However guys, with this exact strategy that we're gonna implement in today's video, these kind of clips are going to be out of the question. Unless you wanna record videos of your pets or of your kids, while doing fun activities, this is not necessarily going to be for us. We're going to be focusing on something entirely different. So let's just take a step back and try to understand what kind of content is actually performing on Rumble. And what you're going to notice is that we're talking about news articles. More often than not, news articles are getting a lot of engagement. And here is how you do it without ever showing your face in front of the camera. You don't need to have a major social media following. You don't need to have an established brand. You can literally start from scratch. The first thing we're gonna do is take advantage of this very powerful tool that Google provides, which is called Google News. This website will basically show you the latest news regarding all sorts of fields of activity, ranging from business to technology, entertainment, sports, science, health, and I could keep going. So the first thing I would do is select my niche. I wouldn't cover news from various different fields of activity. I would just pick one and focus on that. Because as people say, the riches are in the niches. And that's how you can really establish your brand, by focusing on something very specific. So let's just go for entertainment, for instance. Let's just say we're going to create a Rumble account, a Rumble channel that is focusing on the latest news regarding entertainment. I hope that makes sense. Well, take a look at this. What I can do right now is just click on the first title that is going to take me to the original article on a different website most of the times. And this text right here, this article is going to serve as our script. However, in order not to get any sort of copyright related issues because we're virtually just stealing this content, let's call it what it is, I'm going to slightly change it. But in order to save some time and not to have to do it manually, we're gonna make use of an automated tool. So let's just do it one step at a time. I'm just going to copy this article right here, this paragraph for reference, and I'm going to connect to the Quill bot. Now, this is a tool powered by artificial intelligence, which is virtually going to rephrase your whole text. So all you gotta do is paste your original text in the left hand side right here, in this box and then click on paraphrase. And before you know it, this tool is going to make use of artificial intelligence to rephrase your whole text. It is basically going to swap certain words for their synonyms. So let's just read the first few lines. I spoke recently with Kevin Nealon, whose book I exaggerate. My brushes with fame is being released later this month. And as you can see, it has been completely rephrased here. And here's another one. Nealon, a cast member during nine SNL seasons, likens the experience of starting a new season to go Going to college. And here's the rephrase. Nilan, who was a cast member for nine SNL seasons, compares the beginning of a new season to entering college. They have basically conveyed the same exact meaning, but they have used a bunch of synonyms in order to make it look and sound different. And so what you want to do is copy the newly created text, and this one is going to serve as our script. Remember, we want to create a video. But now guys, chances are you probably don't have a lot of previous experience with creating video content, right? If you're watching this video, perhaps you're just exploring this opportunity, you wanna learn more about how Rumble works, but you're not necessarily a pro video editor or a voiceover actor. 
but that is not going to be a problem. You see, the first thing we need to do right now once we get a script is turn it into an audio file. Now, what you can do is just get your laptop's microphone or your mobile phone's microphone and record your own voice while reading the script. But if you're not comfortable with that or perhaps you don't have the best accent, and by the way, neither do I, so that's not necessarily a problem, but I get it. Let's just say that you're not comfortable with reading the script into a microphone, right? And instead you want to use an automated tool. Here it is. If you guys connect to video.co, make sure to spell it with a W, this will turn your text into speech for free. And the best part about it is that you've got a wide variety of voices to choose from. All sorts of different accents are available as well. You've got male voiceovers, female voiceovers, Australian, British, American, any kind of accent you want. So let's just pick Mike Stevens here. Let's say we want to go for a male British accent, right? What I can do is paste in my text and get a preview. I can even change the speed if I want to. But I'm not going to. Let's just keep it as it is. Kevin Nealon, whose book I exaggerate. Kevin Nealon, whose book I exaggerate my brushes with. This is certainly not the best one. So let's just give it another try. I'm going to pick an American accent now. What about this one? Kevin Nealon, whose book I exaggerate my brushes with fame as being out later this month. That is definitely a little bit better. But as you can see, this is not necessarily the most naturally sounding voice. You can tell this is a robot. And this is actually a tricky part of the process. If the Rumble algorithm also detects that you're using an automated voiceover, monetization might actually be out of the question because you're mass producing content. You're just using AI in order to get it done. And you're not actually adding your own unique personal contribution to the whole process. You're not actually putting in any work. And that is why when it comes to the voiceover, I would highly recommend that you guys take the time and record it yourself. That can literally be the only thing you have to do yourself. Because when it comes to the text, we've just stolen it from Google News and we have rephrased it using this tool. And when it comes to the footage, we're also going to get it automatically done. And so the voiceover is literally the only thing you got to do. But again, if you want to, you can try with all of these different automated voiceovers. And from my experience, here's the most naturally sounding one, but it is not free. I'm talking about Speechelo. And if you take a moment to actually listen to their voiceovers, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. But I'm not going to waste any more time with that. Again, this is not a free tool. So if you want to use it, it's all good. If not, we're still on track. Let's just move to the next step. Well, guys, quite obviously, the next thing we have to do is just compile a bunch of footage that is relevant to the topic. In this case, it is all about the SNL season, right? So from my experience, the easiest way to get that done automatically would be by using invideo.io. This is an in-browser video editor where you don't have to download anything on your device. And for the most part, it's free to use. As you can see, you've got a free trial, no credit card is required, so you can try their service without having to pay a cent. You will basically be able to upload your mp3 file, which is your voiceover and also your text. And based on your text, their artificial intelligence is going to suggest useful images, relevant content that you can just compile and then you've got yourself your video. But I don't want to bore you with that process because it's really, really easy and streamlined. However, if you decide that the footage in video recommends is not that relevant or you just want to spice things up and make your video a little bit more engaging or you simply want to maximize the quality, then you can connect to pexels.com, which is a stock footage website. In other words, all of these images that you can see here, all of these videos are entirely copyright free and they're available to anyone who wants to download them. So I could download any picture here or any stock video and reuse them in my videos without having to worry about copyright issues because they are copyright free. Again, this is just stock footage, right? So I'm gonna let you explore this feature as well. But at the end of the day, one thing is for sure. This strategy is completely replicable. You can literally go through this exact strategy for each and every single one of these articles. You can rephrase the text, use it as a script, then record the voiceover yourself. Again, you don't necessarily have to show your face unless you want to. And then when it comes to the footage, you just wanna have a bunch of stock footage that is relevant to the topic or you can just make use of InVideo. And the thing about it is that not all is Rumble going to pay you for posting content on their platform, but they are even going to post your videos on third-party websites if they so decide to, and they will give you a part of their ad revenue on third-party websites as well. So there are all sorts of different income streams that you can set up on Rumble. However, guys, it is still a way smaller platform than YouTube. It doesn't get anywhere near the amount of traffic that YouTube gets on a monthly basis. And so, even though I think it's certainly an interesting option to consider, I'm 100% confident that YouTube is still the best option out there when it comes to getting paid for posting content. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind. Just because we've seen a lot of people migrate to rumble.com, there is a new stream of traffic 
there are new users that are using the platform and so the opportunity is there and if you want to take advantage of it you've got all the resources you need to make it work that's it for now and thanks for watching